This conference will now be recorded. So see what basically happens is that uh, see a sprint can be cancelled due to various reasons. Okay. See, essentially in realistic scenarios, a sprint cancellation will not really happen for the simple reason that it's very short duration, right? So even yeah. if you figure out that you don't want a particular feature or something like that now, you can always uh, take that out of scope and include something else. Okay, but essentially when a sprint will get cancelled is that, see, let us assume that you wanted to implement a particular thing like, let's say that uh, maybe you wanted to introduce like a new section called books okay in some website or an app but it looks like your competitor has come up with exactly the same thing that you wanted to do and has launched ahead of you okay so obviously you can't have the same product getting released right yeah. understand what i'm saying it will not make sense for the competitor it will become too much of competition right. okay they will not have an edge over the competitor so what these people will essentially do is that if there is a situation like that, then the sprint goal becomes obsolete. Okay. So they would want to come up with new innovative ideas. Okay. So that once they come up with that and they are able to experiment and come up with something new, they'll do that and then probably proceed on to uh, introduce that uh, feature and uh, move it to production so only when the sprint goal uh, becomes obsolete that is when uh, the sprint usually gets cancelled okay otherwise the sprint usually will not get cancelled like let's say that they somebody has uh, <clears throat> uh, done it ahead of time or some competitor has released it then the sprint goal will become obsolete but even then what will happen is uh, like imagine a situation like that they'll 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 feel that the sprint goal has become obsolete but the basic work that would have happened for that probably the book section they'll keep that work okay and then they'll just halt the rest of the work they'll only accept that work and then once they come up with an in innovative ideas they'll put it back into the product backlog and they will take it and then they'll work on it. This is what essentially will happen. Oh, okay. okay. But I have, but in my experience still, uh, I mean, I've been a scrum master for like over 24 months now. I've never seen a single sprint getting cancelled in my oh. team at least, or I have not heard of it. It's very rare. Okay. Maybe it yeah. might happen in a place where there is like immense competition, right? Like probably between Flipkart and Amazon or Walmart and Costco, or maybe very high competition like that. Those leagues, it might happen. Okay. There could be chances where they could shelf off, a, you know, a feature and say that, hey, hold on, we will get back to this again. But mostly it doesn't happen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. daily scrum is the topic that we are going to touch on. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, I have one, sure. one more question. Sure. Okay, so um, there's a section uh, where the topic is sprint planning, and in topic two, how will the chosen work get done? Mm -hmm. So there's a line there which says work planned for the first days of the sprint by the development mm -hmm. team is decomposed by the end mm -hmm. of this meeting often to units of one day or less what is when i mean i really didn't understand that sentence. okay so so let's say that you have a so let's say you have a sprint goal okay mm -hmm. um maybe let's say that uh, you have a sprint goal which will say that uh, implement amazon pay that is your sprint goal okay so uh, there are so many let's say that there are some 15 20 items okay uh, when it comes to uh, implementing Amazon Pay, okay. So the dev the the business product owner comes. She has a business objective in mind. 
she says that hey you know what let us uh, implement amazon pay this sprint so the team is okay with that and the team says okay fine we will do that <laughs> but the team is not very sure so as to how much of work that they can take into that sprint okay so just to start the work with <laughs> they are just pulling work so when you have things like this or when the product backlog is not uh, ordered properly the the product owner says that i need some time can you give me some time to order it or let's say like that the out of, outcome of the meeting the product owner says that uh, hey you know what i want to implement amazon pay but the but the thing is that uh, i know that you guys can't do all of it you can only do some 50 60% of it so there'll be items ordered right item 1 item 2 item 3 item 4 you can visualize the board right even in your jira yeah yeah it'll be right. ordered one after the other so uh -huh. let's say that the product owner says that hey i thought you guys can do all the 10 items but by what you're saying you can't do all the 10 items item 1 and 2 are fine they are ordered the right way okay but between 3 and 10 i want to i want a few things first i just uh, figured that uh, i want a few things first that could be one of the ways or there could be a scenario where the dev team might tell the product owner hey you know what this designer is going on leave so we can't get this work done now this work is dependent on him it is on the pro i order number it is ordered third in the backlog but we can't do this now because he's going on leave so can you please reorder it so what will happen is they just pick one or two items from the product backlog into the sprint backlog so that they don't waste any time and they start working on it in the meanwhile the once the product owner knows of the dependencies who is on leave what is going to happen if if she if she finds out from the uh, stakeholders during the sprint review meeting that something else is much more critical based on all this she will order it so it is not a necessity that you should have the entire sprint backlog on day 1 itself into into the sprint backlog from the product backlog you can just have a few items then later on as and when they finish the work they can always pick more work oh okay get what i'm saying so that is what it means so they the the simple intention is that they have to just start for now then they can always like add much more of work okay okay yeah so that is the whole idea uh so anything else and uh, that's i'm hey, glad that you read through all this thank you no problem <laughs> yeah so any other question everything else i think should be clear yeah okay so actually uh, yeah so we are going to touch down on a very important topic called daily scrum so it might look very simple but daily scrum is something that is like actually very important that's why i didn't even come up with any presentation or too many notes because we will have so much to talk about when it comes to daily scrum so see daily scrum is uh, a meeting which is time box for 15 minutes which means that whether you have three people in the team whether you have nine people in the team you still have only 15 minutes to talk about okay so daily scrum is a meeting where you will actually inspect every day about how your work is going on okay so okay. let's say that you have blah 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 like you have so many tasks to finish and stuff like that so you'll basically implement you will basically inspect how your work is going on okay whether you are on the right track whether you have any questions whether you have anything that needs to be done in order for you to uh, are you missing anything okay these are the basic things that you do as a part of daily scrum okay you have to understand that uh, see because it this the sprint itself is very uh, short right so this is something that 
on a daily basis you have to kind of understand whether you have dependency with someone else when the sprint is getting executed you have to understand whether you have dependency between two people or is there some person when they are coding are they technically stuck okay is there something that is um, technically challenging that they are not able to finish okay and what have they done in terms of the sprint goal are they achieving as per the plan is there something that is been kept they are not doing it what exactly should they do in order to achieve the sprint goal so as a team they collate together they are together and they understand each other and it's team work basically like if one person needs help the other person has time they pitch in and stuff like that this is what essentially happens in a daily scrum so a few things uh, from the scrum guide so that you can understand like quite well so it is 15 minute time box event it is held every day of the sprint the development team works for the next 24 hours that's what i said like what what have daily scrum usually might happen like this what did i do yesterday okay what do i do today okay in order for for me to work towards the sprint goal what am i going to do okay do i have any impediments this is what it typically happens okay so when the daily scrum the one of the main reasons daily scrum happens is it it optimizes the team collaboration and the performance okay it might look very theoretical again but i will tell you a lot of realistic scenarios where daily scrum has really helped see initially when my when uh, the the startup i work for is like we don't have uh, uh, developers from very well set companies or like big mnc's or companies like pcs cognizant or anything like that okay they are all from very small companies so they are not very sure about processes and things like that all they know to do is code so what happened was uh, when we were introducing scrum and we were telling them about implementing scrum they were not very open to the idea so and they felt that the uh, daily scrum was not helping them because when they were like coding they had to that train of thought got lost when they were coding they had to come and attend this meeting okay but when they stopped doing it the team kind of ran into a lot of trouble i told them okay it is fine see we can't be purist always okay we have to be pragmatic sometimes so you have to sometimes dance to the tune of the development team till they settle down and they trust you as a scrum master you are supposed to empathize with what they are going through so i told them okay no problem let's not have daily scrum for two, uh, three four days let us see what is happening okay the team ran into a lot of trouble because they didn't understand who had who was at what point who was progressing what work with like for example developer b would need uh, something from developer a it would have been a dependency but uh, they wouldn't have spoken to each other okay so they wouldn't have even understood that uh, if developer a finishes it only developer b can pick it up so these kind of things we were able to address in daily scrum because each person used to give tell what they are doing so what used to happen is that when they used to do that the other person could kind of figure out saying hey yeah this is something that i need from you so they were able to be open to each other and say that i need this from you and i need this from you stuff like that you get what i'm saying because this was not there they had no room for understanding what one person needs from the other and what they are doing as a team or the whole whether they will be able to deliver things so they ran into such problems so this might look very uh, theoretical when it says that this optimizes team collaboration but it definitely does optimize the team collaboration and performance because realistically when you stop doing this you will not know who is doing what and every time you can't be going and looking at your jira board right because 
there are a lot of instances where people don't even update the jira board so you really don't know what they are doing at the end of only 3 4 days you will know what they are actually doing you go and ask them because not everybody will actually go every day and meticulously update the jira board right so these are some practical problems you as a scrum master to a scrum master i'm advising you if your team makes such weird requests just go with it or try to understand why they are making such requests now my team has come to a point where they understand the daily scrum is very important i also can understand if i pull them in for a 3 pm meeting or 4 pm meeting it is disturbing for them because i am they are losing their train of thought when they are coding on something important they are all hardcore developers so what i do is i pull them into a meeting i have told them let us have a meeting at 11 o'clock in the morning because that is the time everybody comes to office so before uh, they start their day they can do this and get into these meetings so that is beneficial get what i'm saying yeah so so that really helps a lot with the team performance and and it it does definitely uh uh you you inspect the work and you forecast the upcoming work so you can understand that hey i have done 30% of the work the team has done 30% of the work for the sprint goal and we have 70% so one thing uh, remember one thing um scrum doesn't end or um predictability at all okay for the simple reason that prediction most of the time is in a pattern right it is very predictive it's like in a pattern whereas forecast is something like you can forecast but then it is not necessary that it should go in a specific way like for example uh, you can forecast your sprint uh, work but you can't be definite of that it will happen because somebody can fall sick somebody can go on leave they could identify a lot at last minute that they have some dependency with some other external team so you can only forecast what is going to happen you can't predict okay and the daily scrum is held at the same time and the play is every day to reduce complexity so these are things that indirectly if you see scrum might sound very theoretical as a framework but you have a lot of things in terms of it is very beautifully and well thought and written because it teaches you a lot of things like discipline the held at the same time and place it is a way of self discipline that is how i see it uh being with in in uh having the time boxes is again another way of discipline and respecting each other's time and work and everything okay so i and all these team collaboration activities as a team being responsible for delivering work that is all building team relationships okay so it all might look as a look as a framework but these guys took over a decade to come up with 16 pages document so i'm sure that it is a very very well thought one so any questions till now no my friend yeah so the scrum, the development team uses the daily scrum to inspect progress and to inspect how work is progressing okay the daily scrum optimizes the probability that the development team will meet the sprint goal so as and when you go towards the sprint you will understand whether you will be able to meet it or whether you have any hiccups okay so every so the development team should understand how it intends to work together as a self organizing team that is what i was giving you an example before right so they work together in terms of like one has dependency the how does uh, how does the other one wait and if one has a problem that they are not able to solve some technical problem how does the other person pitch in and help them and things like that <clears throat> so as a team they should create the work so it's not in a one person accountability so i already told you the structure of the meeting is like this what did i do yesterday what did i do today and uh, what will i do today and do i see any impediment 
so the development team or the team members immediately meet so if in case they have like some doubts they will just finish the meeting we'll ask each person what they have done and how things are and stuff like that okay but then if they have some elaborate discussion that they need they meet after the daily scrum and plan okay uh, see if you if you write exams or if you go to interviews you'll be asked a lot of questions around uh, if a scrum master uh, is should be a participant in a daily scrum so a scrum master can be an attendant a person who attends a daily scrum but essentially it is the development team who drives and owns the daily scrum of course the scrum master should ensure that the daily scrum happens so if you take my previous organization i was there as a scrum master there for one and a half years so the first two three sprints i used to join the meetings but i used to let the team discuss first initially i used to facilitate the meetings then i delegated the responsibility to one of the development team members and that guy used to drive the meetings the <coughs> the the daily scrum meetings so after one point in time i didn't even have to be there they used to run the meetings on their own once you have a mature team they will run the meetings on their own so after that meetings if they have any impediments or something that is not work working they will raise it up immediately to me and say that uh, uh, this is the problem that we are having okay so please uh, it's all this for okay and again it is an internal meeting for the development team like i said it that anybody else is only a participant the development team only has to attend the meeting and it's solely their meeting okay so the if others are present the scrum master ensures that they do not disrupt the meeting so the daily scrum improve communication eliminate other meetings identify very men development removal and promote quick decision making and improve the te team's level of knowledge this is a key inspect and adapt meeting okay so uh, we can talk about sprint review but then i wanted to do this sprint review again for the next 20 25 minutes so i want a separate day for sprint review and a separate day for sprint retrospective so my plan is like this uh, priyanka so we will have sprint review on thursday sprint retrospective on friday we will have this we have sprint artifacts okay product backlog sprint backlog and a definition increment and definition of done okay so by next friday like coming friday the next friday which is um seventh before the seventh we should be done with the course okay okay but the thing is in between if you have any questions like i wanted to kind of check with you you want you had some questions about uh, the jira and how your team worked with that right so yeah exactly probably spend some 10 minutes can we take some questions from you and <clears throat> but daily scrum is clear right you don't have any questions around it right no no yeah yeah, yeah so tell mm. the only problem i am facing is they don't update jira on a regular basis and uh, and the other thing is they don't attend the meetings yeah okay. these are two so mm -hmm. so did you actually uh, speak to your team did you ask them why is it what is stopping them i understand that they are all in different locations i understand that you all don't work out in the same office but you actually check with them because see uh, yeah it is very important for you to highlight hello yeah yeah hello can you hear me yeah i can yeah so it is very important for you to highlight the fact that you're all working towards a common goal right right yeah so basically there like multiple reasons uh they don't attend the meeting in the last minute saying that they have another meeting from i mean they 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 actually work full time so they they have some other meeting and they 
they cannot attend attend this meeting so the, those are the kind of reasons that they give or they say that i already updated jira jira and all my updates are over there so i don't have to attend the meeting okay can you do something you don't have to keep daily scrum calls not daily yet. this is not daily we catch up like uh, on mondays and thursdays so tell them this tell them this guys okay i'm creating a whatsapp group or i'm creating a slack channel we okay. already have a whatsapp group okay so do something tell them let us have some dedicated time maybe 5 10 minutes during lunch okay where all you guys have to tell is whether how are things going do you need any help okay are we making things happen just put it out as a whatsapp message that is all i need you guys don't have to come for the monday thursday meetings here on cancel the monday thursday meetings okay okay just ask them to update on a daily basis maybe like your lunch time let's say 1 to 1:15 or 12:45 to 1 okay just tell them see uh, the problem is uh, priyanka people like us may be like very interested in all the very because this is very disciplined okay the way of this working is dif- discipline and once you start seeing the benefit it, it is great okay Yeah. it is it is very very well thought but because you and i love scrum doesn't we can't expect others to so we yeah. like that we have to dance with them a little just tell them this hey guys why i un- i truly understand that uh, we all have our own commitments and we are not able to make it to the thursday and monday call so i am proposing this why don't we spend 5 10 minutes during our lunch time either between 12:45 to 1 or 1 to 1:15 you guys don't have to stay on line for the whole 1 to 1:15 just come on line update what you are up to just for a minute or two and you, you can leave so that as a scrum master i can understand where we are and what we are doing so that if i foresee any issues that you have i'll be able to help you do that Just put out a subtle note like this on your WhatsApp group. Cancel okay. both the calls, and you will have one or two people who will be very enthusiastic about the whole thing, right? Prod okay. them, make yeah. them. <laughs> But are you are you saying that I should organize this over the call or just the text? No, no, just send it out as a text. So you make sure that you tell everyone, guys. please come for the thursday call i am going to discuss something critical so please all of you come so let them come tell them guys this is i understand that we are all truly busy i understand what you guys are going through so i don't want to trouble you all i ask for is just two three minutes a day for this so why don't you guys just come on whatsapp ping your update and go okay. you will have a few people that who you will like or you have a personal rapport with right ask yeah just directly message those people ask them to start updating these statuses every day okay See, if that way they can indirectly influence or prod the others to do it it's like yeah. college or school right if two people finish their homework the other kids will also do it because it's competition or they also want to make a point even though we are all grown ups we still tend to do all this yeah okay so do things like this so this is another subtle way of making people appear so once you have this regularized and organized i'm sure that all of the other things will fall into place see we all burn our fingers badly trust me as a scrum scrum master you need a lot of patience the first yeah. question i got asked for when i went to the startup was you are the scrum master okay you are the person who is responsible for delivering things okay the team didn't even know what was scrum so they just thought the scrum master is like a project manager who will deliver things why should we do this process related thing that yeah. is what you are here for all we want to do is code 
So it was a shock for me. Okay, coming from a corporate organization where everything is, you know, all the more well uh, uh, matured and it is very different culture, right? So I was shocked. But then I kind of understood that we have to dance to these people's tune so that we kind of make them understand what is the use and stuff like that. Once these people start seeing like this is making their life easy in terms of they don't have to wait too long to discuss this or something like that, I'm sure that they'll see the benefit of it after some point in time. I hope that helps. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'll try this. Yes, try this. If it doesn't work, we will again think of something else. We can yeah. always think of new things. Okay. It is all trial and error. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's all I have for today. Let us convene tomorrow again and we'll okay. talk about sprint review. So if you have any questions at all about uh, daily scrum, do ping me and if you have any questions still now, uh, feel free to ping me. I will also send across a few books okay. uh, that you can probably read, which is an interesting read or something like that. So that it will kind of give you an insight into things. Okay. All right. Have a great day. All right. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. Day. Thank you. Thank you for your time too. Thanks. Bye. Bye.